Alright lads, welcome back to another video on the channel. Um, we're going to go through kind of all the, the trading methods you can use from trend trading to sniping to mass bidding to yeah, just daily flips, investments. going to go through kind of, you can, there's only a certain amount that's going to work for you, right? Because of schedules and things like that, right? So if you're looking at trend trading uh, for the UK, uh, I've been on it for a few days, right? Um, and I've made about 80k doing it uh, last night. Uh, as you can see with the players here, maybe not 80k because um, we we did flip. We've probably made about 45 to 50k with just these players. Now we're up to 724,000. Uh, we, we ended up the video yesterday on 670 something, I believe. We've done two drafts that takes us 30,000 down, which gives us 40, uh, and then we're 84k up. But that's not all from trading, um, and that's not all from these players. I think we're about 40k to 45k up on these players. Now, Shira, we made about um, about 7k on, I believe. So he's not the best, but still 7k, nice bit of profit. We did get stuck with him for a while, but we ended up selling him. Um, yeah, I just done train, uh, trend trading, and um, I'm just kind of getting used to the market and things like that. And uh, I'll explain that as well, because a lot of people are like, oh, I want to buy and flip coins of a night. But it goes on your schedule, right? You need at the lowest you need them at the lowest point of the market, right? And how to work that out is to see where he is all day, and then he just drops. So like, Marquinhos, for instance, right, was like 17k yesterday morning, uh, 18k, 19k yesterday morning, and then in the middle of the night, he's like 15 to 14, 14 and a half k, and he's just dropped. And I'm thinking, well, you know, everyone's got the game now. There's coins coming into the market. There'll be rewards soon. This card's going to have to go up, right? He's an 85. He's probably one of the better centre-backs that you want in your team, right? Look at his stats. Perfect stats, right? There's nothing really wrong with him. Agility is a bit low, but you can probably do something to do that, right? So I thought, well, I'll buy him at 14k. And then we went and looked on the market. So this is how I would do it. Um, hang on a sec. If I... This is froze for me. Um, right. Right, here you go. Is that back? Right, you're on with me, right? So, we look at Marquinhos, right? Right. No. What's going on here? This is I think it's because I'm rendering a video, so apologies for that. But right, we're going to have a look at Marquinhos, yeah. So this is where I kind of looked at players and that yesterday. So if it loads, so Marquinhos hourly yesterday, right? He's at like nineteen to twenty k, right? So like he's down here at fifteen k, right? At early hours in the morning. In the morning he rises to nineteen and hits twenty one k, right? Now we could have probably lost that right today. Is a 17k last night is a 17 17 now this actually wasn't his graph this morning because he was about 15k this morning right hit 16 at the high point this is where i set him for at 17 750 so this is uh is incorrect massively because i got him for about 15 uh yeah i got i got both of them for 14 uh so yeah on a bid uh you don't want to snipe them because you know, you want to go for a bid. You you will get outbidded on a few of them, but and then I sold him here for seventeen seven fifty, and then he's probably up right. Yesterday he like hit twenty one k after being fifteen k the morning before that, and then he's again fifteen k and rises up. So depending on who comes out SBC wise and things like that, as you can see that his daily graph it goes up and it goes down. It's the same with the other people. Uh, let's have a look at like Goretzka, right? Um, sorry, that's not Gretzka. Right, this is I picked Gretzka up and sold him. Oh, if we go across there for forty-seven seven fifty, right? It's forty-seven k now. It says we probably he probably went a bit higher than that, but today early hours this morning, right? It's forty-four k. Now with this, you got to remember there's always leeway to go under, right? There's always like that you get ten or fifteen minutes of where he hits under, right? It was about forty-three k. So on a bid. You'll probably get a bid for forty one k, right? Like I did, because many people that are going to invest or whatever or want to buy him, they don't really outbid you. There's a lot of people that will just want to like a nice deal to to trade with there and then. But for four, if you're selling for forty four k, if you're buying them for forty one and want to sell them for forty four, it's not really the best, so they just leave it. But you've got the intentions of selling them for forty eight, right? So six o'clock this morning, it was forty eight, forty seven, forty seven. So I buy him, list them up for six hours. 
uh, and then put them up for 47750 you come on this morning and he sold that's because that's trend trading right but this doesn't work with everyone you've got to kind of look into the player the demand of the player also with the supply of the player so Goretzka right everyone's gonna everyone wants a Goretzka really right you've got a German league team you want this guy right whether he's attacking or in CDM probably in CDM as you can see everyone puts a shadow on him right so um this doesn't really matter but that's it stats with a with a shadow ridiculous right so that's why everyone likes this card and that's why he sat at 40k he's a bit cheap um 56 yeah all right then 56 on playstation that's a lot better but we're going to have a look at playstation right so he's down to 50 this is at four o'clock in the morning he's 52 and now he's 57 if you buy six or seven of them that's nice that's nice profit that you probably if you buy 10 of them at that and you sell him for 48 let's say right uh you're probably looking at what 30 35k profit with just 10 of them right and then obviously if you're not just getting grants because you're getting other players you're going to make more and more than that every night right every night and every night you go to bed every time you wake up you play the game in the day you go to bed that's kind of how you make coins that's kind of how i'm making coins at the moment i still mass bid and i still do things like that uh if we go and have a look at like wan basaka for instance right We'll just type in um, Wan Bissaka here. With Wan Bissaka, he currently is 31.5, right? I saw him for 32, 32.5 even, right? And 32. So I'll get the PS as well. So hourly yesterday, right? As you can see here, yesterday in the middle of the day, he's like 30k. He's 30k on PlayStation and he's 33k on Xbox, right? So you're like, oh, okay then. So early hours this morning at three o'clock he is 29k 29750 and i'm thinking well i get him cheaper than that because i've bidded on him right people ain't gonna bid on you uh if you go and bid 28 a lot of people that was not already i don't really want that because it's close to buy now i want to get cheaper so they leave it right you can maybe get some for 27 28 or even you, you can even snipe right if you're fast enough you better do it and then today he hits 32 now there's not a lot of tax in 32 there's there's got to be 1600 right it's 15 it's 500 every 10,000 so 20,000 is a thousand um 1200 is 1600 right so if you're buying him for 28k uh and the easiest way to do this is i can show you here um i don't know where it is is there like a tax calculator or something on it i normally do it on my phone um tool right so foot calculator so i don't know why it does this right wan bissaka right so can you change this price you can't change this price on here you can on your phone normally but let's say right so let's say after tax right it's only 1000 if selling for that right it's only that many tax right so you'll get that back but you're not so you'll get at least 30,000 back, right? So if you're getting it for 27, that's 3,000 a card, which is which is ideal, right? That's that's what you want, right? 3,000 a card, you buy 10 of them, and you're quite confident in that. Uh, you're going to go ahead and make 30K, right? Just like that, just by sleeping. But you've got to be... You've got to know which players to do, right? You've got to know when to sell them and how long to put them up for because there's no point putting them up. They don't sell and then you're not on here to then put them back up quickly or make the price adjustment because then you'll just lose coins. You've got to put them up for where you know it. You've got to, you've got to be there. If you're up at 3 o'clock in the morning, you need to be up to put them up for 9 o'clock or check his price at 9 o'clock and it's a bit of a struggle, right? So this is why this is not for everyone. Uh, the same with who else do we get here, right? I can't pronounce this guy's name, so apologies uh, for that. But this guy here, right, the left back for Spurs. Now, i just done these players just to base on, um, you know, just to try it, to see if, you know, I can I can kind of get grips with the market, kind of do it. I haven't really done this trading kind of before because it's never worked in my schedule, but uh, I can do it now, right? So I'm going to take the PlayStation off, right, and I'll look at that separately in a minute. But you've got yesterday right he hit 7.8k at three o'clock right at, at 11 o'clock at night and then he hit 7.6 7.5 i picked him up for about here and he's 7.6 now at 7.6 he's actually not selling at 7.6 he's about 7.2 on um on playstation right 
And you're getting undercuts for 7.3, 7.2. I got one for 6.9, and I got the rest for, I think, 7.1 and 7 and 7K. Um, and then, as you can see here, it's 8.2K and 7.5 in PlayStation after being 6.9K there. So the, the trend is kind of the highest point is like between, it's always between 8 to 11 o'clock uh, in the morning. UK time. I don't know what time that is in your region. You have to, you know, check or work that out. But that's kind of the trend. I looked at him and I thought, well, that might be good. So I put a few, you know, a few coins into this card, and um, yeah, and it and it paid off. So that's kind of what I've been doing here. <coughs> um, so as you can see, I did sell him for eight point three, eight point five. Now Richardson's a really good one, right? Richardson went down to about twenty three k last night. Uh, 25k you could buy now, but you could actually pick this card up for about 23k. We sold one there for 28. That was a sniper, not a sniper, a hunter, I believe. Um, and that was I didn't put him up last night. I saw I actually put him up when I bought him. But yeah, Fleepy Anderson there. We could have got 17, 750 from, him, but we actually missed him. Um, we missed the the boat on that one. So we bought him for 40 and had time for 60. Not the best profit. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of um. A lot of people are going to think, oh, why are, you, why are you telling us this? Right, traders are going to be like, why are you telling people this? Because it's going to muck it up. I've got kind of a short, you know, thousand and something um, uh, subscribers, kind of that. Probably, I don't know, 60 or 70 regular people that come on and watch the videos. So this is going to help you guys out. A lot of you are on uh, PlayStation as well as Xbox. So it's going to want to help you out with that. That's kind of trend trading, right? And that's how I would do trend trading. Now, it's gone on for like 12 minutes. Um now with mass bidding, uh, you can also, if you're on at five, six o'clock, seven o'clock, that's probably when everyone's on, right? Uh, and let's say, you know, you want to go for, I don't know, let's just do this, right? So you want to go a little bit where there's a little bit profit to be made, but not a lot of tax, right? So let's just go with Fabian, right? Just use him for an example, right? So Fabian here, right, is about... Right, he's actually quite cheap, but we'll use him for an example, right? Um, let's have a look. So it's about one one nine. Right, it's one point nine. Is he two k? Right, you'll probably get rid of him for two k. Right, that's two hundred coins tax. So what you want to do is uh, go to about one six, right, and then search. What normally happens is there's not normally it normally say like there's like ten or fifteen minutes on these cards, right? But it's actually not so. What you want to do is you want to bid one six, right? That's two hundred coins a card, right? But you're probably thinking like, well, it's two hundred coins a card. What's the point? Well, if you bid on ten of them and you get ten of them and you flip them straight away, that's two k. But you're not only just doing it on this card, right? So you'll go one six again. Uh, you can go one five. It you know it depends uh, with with the state of the market. If the market's really busy, you'll probably get these cards for like one point two. Because not everyone can see every card that's put up. When the when the market is that busy, uh, you can't really see every card. So a lot of cards go with miss. Like a lot of people won't see the cards you bid it on, and then you go and get it for like nine hundred coins. That can happen. That does happen. Um, that happened a lot last year. It has happened to me this year as well. So go here. You wanna? I don't know. Take your time out. Maybe go on the web app because it may be a bit faster. And just mass bid right up to like. Don't go too. Don't go too mad because this price can change. But I'd say no longer than. No longer than 10 minutes, right? Do that, and then what you want to do is you don't have to keep watching them because you've bidded what you're comfortable with and what you want to pick them up for. So if you get outbidded, you get outbid outbidded, right? It doesn't really matter. You may not get any that time. You may get loads the next, right? And then um, we're going to have a look at someone else, right? This guy here, right? Go and have a look at his price. Uh, no, I think it's... Right, here we go, right? So he's about... Right, it's not 2-2, two, two. I'd say probably 2k. Again, it's probably the exact same price, right? Which is good, because then you can't get lost with who's going for who. So if you're getting people that are worth the same coins, it's a lot easier, right? He's actually cheaper than 1.8, which is which is not ideal, right? So it's about 1.5 there, uh, 1.6. Is he 1.7? Okay, is he 1.8? All right, so let's say he's 1.7, right? Now, tax on that's going to be like, 70 something coins no it's not it's gonna be a hundred and it's gonna be 50 sorry i've got it wrong so fabian's gonna be a hundred coins tax right um 
yeah, he's going to be 100 coins tax, this card, right? So if I'm selling for 2k, uh, that's 300 coins a card, right? So as you can see, we got this one. We didn't get this one. You could, right? We probably might, we might get that one for 1.5. We might get that one for 1.6. Uh, we didn't get them ones. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal, right? We didn't bid on many. Uh, so 200 coins, 100 coins tax. It's 50 coins every thousand. So yeah, you're looking at 100 coins tax. You get you get 1.9 back if you're getting them for 1.5. That's 400 coins a card, right? Um, yeah. And so with this guy, you want to go ahead and go like what 1.5? He's about 1.7. So yeah, it says that, right? This is why you want to compare his price and just go across. If it says that and it says there's not many up for that price, just go go across into sim. He doesn't look like a good one, right? So, we'll leave him, but you kind of get the gist of mass bidding, right? You you go ahead, look at players at, you mass bid on them all, right? You work out the tax where you want to be with it, and then from there on, you can go ahead. So, we've got actually two, right? Um, and this is just when the market's not that busy. I'm assuming the market's not, you could go 1.8, right, and make your money, but Fabian here, we're just going to go ahead and put him up for 2k, um, and that's it. Now... Let's say, for instance, I had like 25 of these, right? Put four or five up, wait for them to sell, right? If you've got them at the right price and they're in demand and they're selling, as you would only go with cards that are in demand and selling, uh, they shouldn't take too long to sell. Let's say you got two up, right? And then let's say they sold already. They might not sell because the price might have changed. But let's say if you sold already, you go ahead and put the other four up. So that's that. That's mass bidding. That's kind of how that works. Um, you ain't got a, you know, ain't ain't hard or anything like that. Now, uh, so look at his price. We might have put him up for a bit too much. Um, okay, one nine one eight, two k. Okay, now here go for two k. If we compare his price, see how many is actually on the market. There is a lot of it. What fifty two minutes? So yeah, we get we get rid of him for two k. That was shadow trading. Uh, or chemistry style trading. Now, this normally goes through through hunters and shadows, right? So, um, what you want to do from here is you can you can do this, right? Go to shadow uh, and then search for the lower shadow by now, right? But you normally go with I'd go gold rare and then I go to defenders and then you want to search the lowest one. So I've put right. So 2k, I don't know if that was good. They no, they normally sit at like 2.5 nowadays. Okay, they've gone up. 2.6. Shadow cards might have gone up, to be fair. Um, 2.9. Let's have a look at 2.9. So you kind of just want to get... You kind of want to get the cheapest one up, right? So 2.8, right? So you probably want to go 2.3 on a snipe. You can sit here, you're bored, give it 5-10 minutes, right, and go 2-3, you can try and snipe, you can do the same with a hunter, exact same, you just change that to an attacker, uh, and that does that, or um, you come here and you just search, right, so when you're searching, you go across until you find a bid, now, uh, this could take, you know, with the market being busy, Sanichu here, right, add him, see what he is with a, 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 a shadow on, so we're going to have a look at his price, Sanichi, right, so he's what, 3 2? Okay, he's 3 2 3 1, so you're probably looking about 3k for him, right? So that's going to be 150 coins profit. 2 5 is not bad, I'm not going to go any more than that, but then you get, you now I know his price with a shadow on, right? So again, I'd get rid of all of that, and then I'd go across until I see one. Now you can go and mass bid on, you can put mass bid in with shadows in as mixed up. So you know Snoochu is going to be about 3k. You can do this, go to about um, 2.5, type in Snoochu, right? And then search and then just go and bid 2.5 on him. But what normally happens is, as you can see, right, uh, I take 2.6 for him, right? 2.6 is not bad. Uh it's going to be like 250 coins, right? But it says 20 minutes. So what I'll do from here is, I don't know why the market's still glitching out, but just go and search right until I see like a 2K or something. All right, he's not the best. He's not really up for long anyway. So I'm going to go ahead. And then you can, again, go ahead and try and get one for 2.5 if you can. Or you would just go and look at someone else, right? This is kind of, this is chemistry chemistry style trading. Um does work it does work uh it works quite good in all fairness you've just got to be look at Saul here right 
I kind of want to get one just to show that it does work good. Um, and if you're doing this a while, right, let's say if you, you spend hours doing this, you'll start to learn the market really well on who's who's high with a shadow, who's not. So when you are sniping one, <coughs> so that's 5.8. Now I've gone 5.8 um, because there was one up for 6 something and that was the cheapest, right? 6.2 there, yeah, so 6.7. Okay, 6-6, six, six. is that still there? Because the market's a bit glitchy, right? 6-5, right, there's none up for 6-5, so I'm going to go ahead and put them up for 6-5. Let's go on the watch list and just see. So we're out for 2-6, that's up to 6k. So I'm not not interested in that one, so I'm going to put Snoochu up, right? He went for 3k, so we'll put him up, that's a little bit of profit. Um, so there you go with that gonna go ahead and now cards like this are always better to do like I said the lower red ones so you want to try and search this card with a shadow one for like 5 8 you'll probably pop up more than like you know the other ones because people don't realize this card's worth a little bit of value people don't realize with shadows on they're worth a bit more I'm gonna go ahead and put him up as well just so we don't miss him the thing is as well with shadow trainers they don't sell straight away right it takes a while from to sell. Now we know Fabian's going to take like at least ten to fifteen minutes. Sinichu probably the same, and then you're probably looking at the same with this card as well, right? Um, yeah, and six five, right? And you'll probably see the same with that card, right? Now don't worry with shadow trading; they normally do tend to sell, right? Uh, they normally do just because the shadow cards are high, and when people kind of work out that like, I'm just going to go buy one with a shadow one. And then last but least, this video is like 20 minutes long, right? I do apologize for that. Last but least, it's just general trading, right? So for me, I'd normally go 10 to 50, get all like, the cards under 10k out of the way with, right? And then go from here and just trade from here, right? Now Rashford there for 132. If he's that, he's down a lot. Um, so Marcus Rashford, right? 141, 46, 50, right? It's about 150k, right? So I know from that that that's going to be profit, even if I get it for 140k, right? Because it's that's about five, six, so about seven and a half thousand coins profit uh, tax. Once I sell him, he's there for 150k. Now it could be it could be a little bit more expensive than that. Uh, 52. You're probably looking at like what? 151. Right, so 150 went. So from that, we know that's not good now because tax will um, tax will get us a loss on that. So now you just go again and then you just kind of search again. But obviously, uh, I'd go because you want to get all like the you know the four Ks and that out of the way if you've got the coins for it. That is, and then I'd go from here and then I'll just search again. This is this is just the basic trailer methods that you can use. Van der Beek, uh, we know he's um, I'll him to the transfer list in a minute. Let's go and have a look at Van der Beek, right? Van der Beek, come off here. Is he 18k? I thought he was a bit more than 18k. I thought he was at 18.5. If he's 18.5, right, he's about 18. There's one with a hunter on him there. Uh, we've probably missed that, right? So I'm going to go 17.5 because I know it's really little tax. Um... Oh, that, yeah, that is gone, right? It's little tax, but it's just a prime example, right? If he's 18,750, so we'll probably get rid of him for 18,750, right? Now, with here, Van der Beek's good. 83 rated is a bit high, so I'd go across here and just search, right? So 70, I'm going to bid on that. Uh, and then this is where the mass bidding comes in as well. Mass bidding kind of works with majority of them. Uh, and then 70, I'll go 17,250 on that. As you can see, I ain't even got two minutes to wait, so I can go ahead and do all this. Uh, and then if I get him for that, I know for a fact I can sell him for 18750 So it's going to be about uh, 800 coins, something profit like that. Tax, you're probably looking at, if you're getting him, you're probably looking at like six 700 coins a card. Maybe a little, no, you're probably looking at like 900 coins a card, eight, seven, probably 700 coins a card if you're getting him for 17250 If you're getting him for 17 k you're probably looking at like 900 and something coins profit. So... Let's have a look. We didn't get any of them Van der Beeks. He went for 20k. We did get that one for 17.5. Again, that's probably going to be about 400 coins profit. It's not going to be a lot. But I just did want to get one there. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this up. I'm gonna go and put this up for uh, we said eighteen seven fifty, didn't we? So that's gonna be that. Quick little training methods like that. I hope this out. I know it's gone on for a bit long, twenty five minutes. Do apologize for that, but I just kind of want to get out there and help you guys understand. Because a lot of people say that they've lost coins or they they want to flip overnight. You're looking at trend trade to get it down properly. You're looking at like you need to be up two, three o'clock in the morning, and you need to know the market. In all honesty, you need to know who's going to go up, who isn't. Right, like this guy here is a good example. He's probably one of the best, one of the best left backs you can get actually in the Premier League. Apart from Robinson, right, he's a bit too expensive. Not not many people want to go and buy that. This guy's a good all round, right? He's going to bounce back at some point, right? Rick Charleston, again, he's a lot of alternative to. I know the player of the month come out, but. Uh, Jesus and everyone like that, Aubameyang, Aguero, they are a bit too expensive at the moment, right? Not lot, a lot of people have got them coins, so this is the alternative. So when he drops down to 23k of a night, 22k of a night, you can normally expect this card to bounce back in the morning because that's when people are on buying teams, you know, and things like that. So, yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have, in all fairness. So, yeah, if you could subscribe. If you're new, like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.